Hey guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be continuing to clean out in this basement. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder, and I show you the messes, and I tell you my mental struggles. And we clean it out in small sections at a time so that I can keep my anxiety calm and make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So we are going to continue to go the counterclockwise way and start over here, right? Now it's time to start digging out this area and opening that up. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so before we dive into the chaos of it all, <laughs> I just wanted to thank the sweetest subscribers in the world. You guys are my heart healers. That's what you guys are because you leave the most encouraging, uplifting, loving, supportive uh, ad advice and messages. And I'm so grateful for you all. And if you're new to my channel, I'm like, why on earth does this girl have sunglasses and a mask on? What's happening here? <laughs> it's because when I started this channel, I felt too ashamed and too scared to reveal who I was, right? But I'm getting braver and I'm getting stronger and I'm getting better at decluttering. And I'm not scared of my hoarding anymore. I created this channel for multiple reasons, but I really wanted to humanize hoarding so that people who don't understand it could understand it better. And people who hid with their hoarding disorder didn't feel alone. They knew that they weren't alone and to give hope that together we can clean out all of this. And if you're not a hoarder, that's okay. We're here to clean. We're here to declutter. Everybody's got stuff now, right? <laughs> so we just keep each other encouraged in our goals and in our journey. And like, I always look up to the uh, people who are uh, minimalists. You are my unicorns. You inspire me. And I sometimes think, can a hoarder become a, minimal a minimalist? The answer is yes, in their heart, they can. And I would love to move more into that kind of a lifestyle. So guys, now without further ado, let's get started. So let's start from the top and work our way down. So this bag right here is clearly all construction paper, right? So this should be the craft section. And that way I can keep all the craft stuff together so that in the future, I can do one huge Kamari method on my craft supplies. Because Lord knows there's a ton of that. Oh, same with this. See, this goes with the wreath making, with the mesh wreath. So we'll do that. Ooh, heartstrings for the Paw Patrol stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. So here's some of the hoarding tendencies, right? I'm not, a, I'm not ready to let go of my children's baby and toddler stuff. I'm working on it. I'm getting better. I'd like to do a Kamari method on all of the baby toys too. That way I can truly pick out my favorites. But as I find them in little pieces, I still need to save it. Like, oh my gosh, I have to hold on to it. If I let it go right now, I'll feel so anxious that it could create a panic attack. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid the panic attack. So that's why um, this right now, I'm not ready to totally let go. All right, guys, what awaits us in this green bin? Oh, random stuff. <laughs> not even full, this tub. This, um, okay, like, we can get rid of this. I There's no need for me to keep this, so we can let that go. Okay, well, this is clearly a tossy tossy. Looks like I was... Yeah, I must have painted a project. Oh, that paint is old, honey. I don't know about that red paint. That might be the tossy tossy too. Let me see. All right, so I'll have to check out these paints, but maybe if I give it a good shake, I can save it, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I got this in the 90s. 
from like McDonald's, I think. Yeah, like, okay. And then, oh, here's some really old stuff. This is old, old. But believe it or not, um, I bought this when I was older because it was like 80s memorabilia. Because as a extremely young girl, this might be my original bowl. I don't know this one right here. But I remember buying pieces off of eBay that was like 80s stuff because I was like, oh, it's my childhood. And I remember being like, I mean, t little, little, little girl here eating like cereal and treats out of this kind of a bowl with the strawberry shortcake on it. So I had to put that with my 80s collection. I love everything from the 80s and 90s. Probably. Oh, this is actually. A, wow, that's a really pretty sleigh. Crystal, I guess I wanted to sell this around Christmas time. It's actually very, very pretty. Could probably regift it because of how beautiful it is. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's a Dalmatian. Oh, well, I gotta be careful. The thing broke. Oh, uh, all right. Um, again, in the 90s, I loved everything Dalmatian from 101 Dalmatians, but I can let this go. I feel comfortable letting this. I don't know. I'm shocked that I have no sentimental attachment to this. So I actually feel really good letting this go. All right, so this is underneath of that bin, and it is pots and pans that are, are new in here, right? This is brand new. Now, we did take some of the stuff out of this set. That's why it looks like this. But I really don't need this, right? I don't need this. I already have a big pot like this that's really great condition. So maybe, oh, there's a lid in there. So maybe I should just toss out the whole box and all the stuff and honestly put these pots in like the next yard sale because I want to have another big yard sale again in fall time. So maybe I'll just do that and then I can get rid of the box, let's say. And of course, if it doesn't sell, I'll just, um, you know, I'll take it to Goodwill afterwards. All right, moving on over. <laughs> We have right on top of this pile, a brand new coffee maker. Yes, yes, yes. Now I bought this at a yard sale, 2014 for $5. I remember that, right? Because I was so excited to buy this coffee maker. Because I thought one day when my hoarded house is all clean and I can have people over, I'll hi I can offer them coffee because I don't drink coffee. I like it. It's a bomb in my stomach. <laughs> my husband's not really a big fan of it, but I was holding on. I attached that dream to this coffee maker and that dream and emotions and feeling is still very alive in my heart right now because I'm almost there, right? I can start, you know, having people over because my house is getting cleaner. And now that dream finally comes to fruition. So therefore, I must hold on to the coffee maker dream, right? Um, I know maybe I should sell it. And probably I need to, most importantly, check to make sure that it's okay since it's been sitting in here for about six years. <laughs> but those are the emotions that hoarders attach to their items. They're just very strong emotions. And what's underneath the coffee maker? Well, a very old Fisher Place airplane that actually was not mine. Um, it was actually a hand-me-down that somebody gave my oldest son. He used to like really playing with that. I still think it's cool. So I see a lot of paper trash in this one. I mean, I gotta be careful because I see this. So that means our address is on the other side. Very old receipts paper i this is probably a very big tossy tossy pile glue sticks oh my gosh i can't even tell you how many times i lose glue sticks and then i go buy new ones hello that's why i gotta get all the craft stuff together <laughs> oh that's craft that's cool so there's some crafty crafty stuff in here see this is why being organized is absolutely so important oh how pretty is that? This is really pretty. I, I remember somebody giving it to me. I can't remember who. But, I mean, 
I need to put that in a better spot. I don't know. I just think it's really pretty. And I can't believe it's been sitting in a box not being honored. What, what else? What other goodies awaits us? All right. I moved some stuff so we could see a little more what was under here. 2016 taxes now. That's where it belongs down here. Oh, it's just like, you know, some plates and we can let that go. I have a wooden spoon. Just some little, oh, so these are maybe more placemats. We can let that go. I don't need to have that. Um, a sheet. Bye. A, a little cup. All right. So these are things that we can definitely let go of. I don't know. I might even throw them in the yard sale. That way I have more stuff because people drive by and they do the slow drive. If they see more stuff, that's when they come out to stop and look. All right. What awaits in this box? Oh, that's light. I don't... <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> just an empty box. Just sitting there. Um... Okay, but you know what? That box is kind of sad looking. See that black? That's probably not a good sign. Tossy, tossy, that box is out of here. All right, so underneath of that is an air conditioning unit, right? It's an air conditioning unit. The stuff on the top can go. I don't really... We, that's tossy, tossy. That can be out of here. I know during the yard sale, I asked Hubby if he wanted to sell it, and he wanted to keep it because one time in the summer when our AC went and it was like 90 degrees, he did plug that in. So we were comfortable until the AC people came in like our bedroom. So uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a keep because I know that he doesn't want to get rid of it. And I want to respect that for him. All right, guys. So I'm going to finish decluttering because this is what feels good in my heart. Because this is what I'm letting go of. This is a lot of stuff. And I feel good at this point, right? I know a lot of people with hoarding disorder, especially me, if I get rid of too much in one shot, it'll trigger my anxiety and it'll start to feel like a panic attack, right? So the point of us doing it in small steps is to make it feel good. And these piles are getting bigger, right? The more I do this, the bigger these piles are getting. And even though, yes, this is trash, right? Because that's the tossy tossy pile. Yes, that is trash. I'm going to recycle as best as I can. But at one point in my life, I attached a value to it to keep it in this basement, right? Back a few years ago, there was a need to hold on to this box. There was a need to hold on to that and that. The receipts, I felt like I, I had to have it just in case I need it. In case for some reason, I had to go back and hold on to that receipt. The box over there, maybe I can organize something with it. This book over here, I want to read the story that's going to make me happy. I attached a value to it, right? There was a value attached to the trash, okay? It was a different mindset. Now I can recognize that I don't need it. It's time to let it go so we can open up space and live more of that minimal life. Now this stuff right here, I don't have an attachment to this either. I'm ready to let this go. Now my question is... um. I can't decide if I want to take it all to Goodwill or to get out of my house right away or if I should put it in my yard sale bins because I want to have another big yard sale in like the fall, right? And I have the bins organized in the back corner in bids and labeled. So my question is to you, should I just take it to Goodwill and just like, you know, get it out of my house today or should I put it nicely organized in the yard sale bin? That way I'll have stuff to put on the tables that day. So, all right, guys, I appreciate that. If you could leave a comment below. Now, let me go show you the open space. All right, guys, there it is. It's opening up a lot better, isn't it? Look at that space. It's, it's a lot, let me back up a little bit. Remember how it was so windy and narrow? And now we opened up that section a little more. And each week, we're just going to dig ourselves out a little more and a little more and declutter a little more. And I really feel good about this. And that's what's important about this. I feel good. We can do it, guys. Okay. Even if you don't have hoarding disorder, we have stuff to declutter. Everyone has stuff to declutter. So come on, girls. We can do this. <laughs> but no, 
Um, I feels good. I'm happy with the turnout. I, I, and I mean, I don't know. I'm at a loss of words right now, <laughs> but no, this feels good. We did it guys. We did it again each week. We got this. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I just want to say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.